In this video, we will walk you through a generic purchase to pay process in a manufacturing or retailing company. We will start with a purchase order which gets sent to the vendor, then show you how to post the received goods into stock. After that, you will learn how to post a vendor invoice, and finally, how to pay the invoice. Let's now head to the first step in the process, creating a purchase order. Whenever there is a requirement to purchase a specific good, the purchasing department will create a purchase order using transaction ME21N. Here, we first enter a vendor number, purchasing organization, purchasing group, and company code. Next, we enter the material or other object we are purchasing, the quantity to be purchased, and the plant. The purchasing price is automatically determined because there is already an agreement with this vendor, a so-called purchase info record. Finally, we save the purchase order. Next, we'll receive the material we ordered. This is known as a goods receipt, and we use transaction MIGO. We enter the number of the purchase order we just created, and the system will show the item we purchased. We confirm the item by clicking the OK box and post the goods receipt. The system will simultaneously put the material into inventory and post the accounting document, updating the balance sheet accordingly. The next step is invoice receipt, where we receive the vendor invoice using transaction MIRO. We enter the purchase order previously created, as well as the invoice date. Next, we enter the invoice amount, which the system compares to the purchase order value. Both amounts match in this case, so we can post the invoice. The system will now create the accounts payable balance against the vendor. Finally, in the procure to pay process, we actually pay the vendor. In this example, we're doing a manual payment using transaction F-53. We enter the document date, the bank account to transfer the money from, the payment amount, and the vendor account. We then press the button Process Open Items to select the open invoices for that vendor. As there is only one open invoice in this case, the system automatically proposes this one for the payment. We post the document to complete the payment, clearing the accounts payable balance for the vendor. 